we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section linear algebra and in this problem we will determine the determinant of the solution of a given matrix equation this question has appeared in the csir national eligibility test held on 16th february 2022 and this problem is from part c the given question is it is known that x is equal to x not belongs to m to z is a solution of ax minus xa is equal to a for some a belongs to the set consisting of these three 2 by 2 matrices which of the following values are not possible for the determinant of x not option 1 determinant of x not is 0 option 2 determinant of x not is equal to 2 option 3 determinant of x not is equal to 6 option 4 determinant of x not is equal to 10 and uh, we have x is equal to x not belongs to m to z it is given to be x not is a solution of this matrix equation ax minus xa is equal to x for some a belongs to this set and uh, we have to discuss which of the following values are not possible for the determinant of x not from among these four options it's likely because the question is from the section c it is likely we may get more than one answer also That's our given question. We now discuss the solution of the problem in detail. Let S be the set consisting of these three 2 by 2 matrices. We are given X is equal to X naught belongs to the set of all 2 by 2 matrices with the entries coming from the integers. Is a solution of this matrix equation AX minus XA is equal to A. For, for some A belongs to this set S. Now that means x naught is a solution of this matrix equation means x naught must satisfy this equation therefore a times a x naught minus x naught a is equal to a. Our first task is for which a this is true. So our task 1 is find a. We take trace on both sides of this equation. Trace of a x naught minus x naught a is equal to trace of a. And we use the property. Trace of a x naught minus x naught a is equal to trace of a x naught minus trace of x naught a is equal to trace of a. We use another property. Trace of a b is equal to trace of b a. Using that transpose the, the trace of a x naught is equal to trace of x naught a. Therefore, the left hand side becomes 0. So, 0 is equal to trace of A. So, so now we have to find which A belongs to this, this set S with that has the property trace of A is 0. The first matrix, the trace is 1 plus minus 1, that is 0. The, for the second one, the trace is minus 2, therefore, this is not a candidate. So, also the third matrix. So, so trace of A is equal to 0 and A belongs to S will imply A is equal to this 2 by 2 matrix 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1. So, we got this matrix A. We continue in the next slide. We have that matrix A, 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. We will now find X naught belongs to M to Z with such that a x naught minus x naught a is equal to a. So our task is to find x naught. Agreed. So let us take x naught is equal to the 2 by 2 matrix a b first row c d second row where a b c d the entries are coming from the set of integers. Agreed. Now 
we take uh, a where a this matrix and uh, x naught is uh, this matrix a b c d and substitute in this equation so we will get uh, a this matrix multiplied by x naught this matrix minus x naught a b c d multiplied by a that matrix a and is equal to a multiply now multiply first row first column a plus c first row second column b plus d second row first column minus a minus c second row second column minus b minus d so likewise you compute and this is the situation now subtract a plus c minus a minus b so a plus c minus a plus b a a minus a cancels and you are left with c plus b similarly subtract this b plus d minus of a minus b that is 2b plus d minus a and minus a minus 2c plus d minus b minus c is equal to the matrix a that is 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 2 matrices are equal if their corresponding entries are equal equate the corresponding entries we get b plus c is equal to 1 2b plus d minus a is 1 and minus a minus 2c plus d is minus 1 minus b minus c is minus 1 b plus c is equal to 1 minus b minus c is equal to minus 1 and we take only one equation because it is much the fourth equation is the multiple minus one times of the first equation so we are left with the three equations so b plus c is equal to one from that we write c is equal to one minus b from the second equation we write d is equal to a minus 2b plus one and uh, the third equation with this c and d is satisfied therefore we need not take that equation at all so we got only two equations c is equal to 1 minus b d is equal to a minus 2b plus 1 agreed therefore x naught is equal to a b c d that is equal to the first row is a b the second row is 1 minus b a minus 2b plus 1 where a b belongs to z so x naught so how many x naughts will be there infinitely many yes a b are free and belongs to z Agreed. Now we talk about the determinant of x naught, and uh, which one of the following values are not possible for determinant of x naught? That was the question. So what is determinant of x naught? That is a d minus b c. That is a into a minus two b plus one minus b into one minus b. Multiply a square minus two a b plus a minus b plus b square. Agreed. So this is a square minus 2ab plus b square is written as a minus b whole square. Left out term is a minus b. Now a minus b is common. a minus b times a minus b plus 1. This is equal to t times t plus 1 where t belongs to z where t is a minus b where a, b are integers. Therefore a minus b is an integer. Therefore t is an integer. So determinant of x naught is the product of two consecutive integers. So let's go back to the options. Option one is what determinant of x naught is equal to zero, as it is possible because it is the product of zero is the product of two consecutive integers zero and one or is the product of two consecutive integers minus 1 and 0. This is possible. Option 2, determinant of x naught is equal to 2. Yes, 2 is, is the product of 1 and 2. Yes, consecutive integers 1 and 2. And the product of two consecutive integers minus 2 and minus 1. Yeah, this is possible. And option 3, determinant of x naught is equal to 6 is also possible since it is the product of two consecutive integers 2 and 3 or two consecutive integers minus 3 and minus 2. So the first three options are possible and we have to find out that option which is not possible 
and this value determinant of x not is equal to 10 is not a possible value obviously how it is how it is so first of all let us look at a 10 and write down you know, all possible ways of writing 10 as the product of two integers it can be written as 1 into 10 minus 1 into minus 10 2 into 5 minus 2 into minus 5 these are the all possible ways of writing 10 as the product of two integers now is there any product which is uh, uh, the product of two consecutive integers no so therefore determinant of x not is equal to 10 is not possible why because 10 cannot be expressed as the product of two consecutive integers so that is the option we have to find out therefore option 4 is not possible determinant the answer is option D. So that is the detailed discussion of the solution of the problem from the section linear algebra. I am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem and I wish you all the best. Thank you.